Alright, give this one the good old reach around. Wait, get it in good view. Nope, so there we go. There we go. Bitty buffs. We got episode 6 on this one. Chop suey. Oh, fuck. Alright, what's up, guys? Back again for episode 6, I think it was. Uh, another installment. We actually did another horror movie on this one. Just going back to back to back with all the horror movies. This one's actually going to be about uh, a quiet place. Last time, episode, shitty horror movie. Mmm, okay, the Strangers. This one, now we're going to take a step into what horror movies are supposed to be like. I know they're kind of like the, the subpar, always kind of shitty. Uh, people don't really look at horror movies all that great. Quality but you know a quiet place quiet place did a lot of good stuff did a lot of good uh, quiet place actually came out on April 6th of this year so horror movie but don't look down on it yet because I gave this thing an 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 for a horror movie compared to the last horror movie we did which it was like a 3.8 this one kicked it up a notch this one was good now acting in a movie where talking is not permitted is very difficult. I don't know if anybody knows that or not. You're like, oh, acting. Well, yeah, you just say some say some words. You show up, you say some stuff, you go home, it's not that hard, right? Drake and Josh were out. Uh, it actually is more than that. It's a lot of facial stuff and, you know, a lot of playing pretend. But yeah, so you take actually saying words out of that and tend to have but acting was fantastic. Uh, I thought John, was a, was the guy from The Office, but I thought he was gonna be the worst out of everybody, but he wasn't. He was actually really good. He was just as good as everybody else that was in there. Emily Blunt, I can love her. She's fantastic. She did a great job, British. So yeah, let's talk about those. So Emily Blunt, fantastic. John, that's what it was, John Krasinski. Zinsky. He did great. He grew the beard out for it and everything. It was very believable. He has kind of like a boyish charm to him, but he did. He grew a fantastic beard and he acted very, very well. Millicent Simmons? Millic Millicent? Millicent? Millicent Simmons? Has everybody got such fucking weird names on it? Um, she was actually, she's the deaf actress in this movie. She actually is really deaf. Something happened when she was born. She took too much of, like, a medicine. I think it was. I think I read, and it caused her to go deaf as a child. So, yeah, she wasn't born that way, but she's been deaf for a very long time. Noah Jupe. Uh, he was actually the son in this one, not the one that got eaten in the very beginning. Not that one. The son that made it through. The whole movie. Uh, yeah, no juke. He actually did a good job. He played kind of like a little scaredy cat, but then he grew some balls halfway through. It was great. It's fantastic. Camera work was good. Uh, no complaints on that one. I gave that one a full point. Uh, nothing like super standout on that. They didn't like, I don't want to say that they tried like a bunch of stuff with the camera work and they did like experimental shots, but they shot everything well. They shot everything that was fairly dark. You know, desolate, uh, post-apocalyptic, it was, yeah, so no complaints, full point. Now, just a little tidbit in here, we're talking about John Krasinski, Krasinski again, he directed it. Yeah, this is his first movie that he directed. Yeah, very good. Jo Jordan Peele, actually. His first movie that he directed was very good. So all these fucking people coming out of the woodwork, actors directing as well and doing very well. Also, wow, the guy who, he did The Gift, but he acted in The Gift and he directed The Gift. God, I can't remember his name. The Gift was very good as well. 
Um, but just all these people, he, uh, John Krasinski is known for The Office. He acts, he's an actor in The Office. He, I don't know, he just, he did a great job. I was surprised. All right, now, you know, done blowing, blowing smoke up everybody's ass. I, I did love this movie a lot, but it did struggle as well in certain parts. Anything having to do with the past, so character development, 0.5 didn't have enough. Uh, could have been, you know, the lack of, of communication between everybody. You weren't able to find out too much other than they were trying to survive. Got it. The little son got eaten in the beginning. Sad. The, the girl was deaf, but there was, there was no background to it. No background to the characters, no background to any other stuff that was going on. So it was like, it's kind of hard to connect a little bit. It was, so I gave that one a 0.5 character development. Editing though, you know, it was it was cut really clean. All the transitions were real smooth and kind of, you know, kind of fit with uh, everything that was going on at the time. So I gave editing a full point as well. Editing, you know, is a majority. Usually it's gonna go in pretty well unless you got some shit like uh, Napoleon Dynamite's editing was <laughs> kind of garbage, but um, yeah. Editing was good in this one. Humor though, for A Quiet Place, it actually, they made one attempt at a joke and it was just like, <laughs> that was it. But it was like anytime they would fucking say anything, you were worried that something was gonna hear them and run up and, you know, diddle or something, so it's like, yeah, okay, I was gonna say a joke and do all this stuff, but at the same time, you're like, shut the fuck up, shut up, shut up, shut up, don't say anything, don't say anything, they're gonna find you. So, it was kind of like a mixed match. I didn't find the joke funny that they said, as well as the fact that I was worried for them, so I gave humor a zero. I, it's just, you know, it didn't, that was where it struggled for me, but, yeah. Understandable. Uh, now music, it was, it's called A Quiet Place, so it's not gonna have a ton of music in it, but yet the score, the score that was done, the creepy sounds that were done with instruments for the movie was key, was good, was on point. Um, there was there was also kind of like a noise that the things made that was, it doesn't really fall into music, but it falls into the sound spectrum of it, so it's like, it was very distinct, it was very cool, and you know, every horror movie has that like sound that goes like, ch -ch 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 you know, shit like that. That every every horror movie has that kind of signature thing or signature score. So this one definitely had that. I don't know if I said it, but I gave music a point eight. Uh, originality though was boss. Uh, can't say I've seen anything like this before. Uh, it's kind of like they took the Ying Yang Twins whisper song and put it in like a movie. Uh, yeah, no, it was it was definitely unique, definitely original. Full point on that one. Proper casting, you, you know, I could say like John Krasinski or whatever, he probably was like, oh, no, no one's gonna act better or be a better dad than me, so I'm gonna put myself in this, but... And then I would dig at him about like, nah, dude, you're directing it, focus on that. So, but he did good. He, proper casting was, it was on point. You got Emily Blunt, can't, can't fight with you on that one. Uh, I like the fact that they had the deaf girl in there. And I don't know, it kind of added something to it. There was like a little scary part in the cornfield where the thing's like right behind her. And she's deaf, she don't know. She can't hear anything. Helpless. So, you know, a little shit like that. It was proper casting at its best. Gave it a full point. So, John, great job on that one. Okay, now proper CGI, the little things, whatever the fuck they are, whether they're aliens or they're mole people or whatever it is, they were CGI, like crazy CGI. But, you know, how else are you really gonna do that? You're gonna build like a, a, a full, animatronic thingy. I mean, you could. They were kind of fast for that, though, so I understand the CGI that they use, so I gave proper CGI full point on that one. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary that was CGI'd, so full point.
I won't get all over their ass for that one. Or in their ass, whatever. Another point where, another point where the movie struggled, I'm gonna say is storyline because storyline was just anything having, like I said, anything having to do with the past, they weren't about. So it struggled on character development because you didn't know anything about any of the people, but then it also, uh, it also struggled with the actual situation. Like, why are they in this? There were no recaps of past life or pre-life before what was going on at the moment. So what the fuck are these things? Are they aliens? Are they mole people? Usually things that are, uh, I want to say like it's like a mole person type of thing being referenced because of you know, they're underground, they're, you know, they burrow, they can't see, but they use sonar to hear. It sounds like an underground type of thing. They're kind of monster, they're monsterish though. So, well, they are monsters, not monsterish. Um, so it's like, did they come from Earth? Were they burrowing and they just come up and they just fucking eat everybody? Were they uh, aliens and they like crash landed and it was like an alien thing? Like they're like a plague and they, you know, just wipe out all light. They never said anything about that. They showed like some pictures of desolation and like news uh, print things about like, oh, the end of the world or whatever, but and, but they never gave any backstory on it. So I just, like, come on, man, give me something. Give me a flashback. Give me a fucking little I Am Legend like tidbits where it goes back and forth, for which, yeah, it could it could have helped. So I gave Storyline a uh, point seven. Not that bad, but, you know, just give a little bit of more information, it would have been fine. All right, so, end of that one. I actually really liked this one. They had the whole scene uh, where Emily Blunt's trying to give birth, and, like, how does a woman give birth and not, like, yell and scream? They're going through probably the most pain that they've ever dealt with in their life, and they don't, she can't yell. She can't, like, <sighs> That shit was intense. That whole scene was super intense. Um, but then, you know, the whole movie was fairly intense. Couldn't make a noise. You're sitting in the theater, you know, snacking popcorn and drinking sodas and stuff, and you're trying not to make any noise because you, like, randomly, if you go and shove a popcorn kernel in your mouth and you're, like, chopping away and then some shit happens on the screen, you can't, you, you kind of feel like that was your fault. Like, they're being quiet. I wasn't being quiet. And they got eaten. Now I'm fucking. They're not. Yeah. So I'm an accessory to murder. Um, or just to get somebody getting eaten. So it was just like, it was so tense all the time. And I was like, fuck. Ugh, ugh. But I liked it. It's not like I didn't like the movie. So 8 out of 10. I loved it. Go watch it. If you haven't seen it, I definitely see it in the theaters. Don't boo like this shit. Go see it. Super down. Again, like, subscribe. Uh, if you like it, share the thing. Uh, you know, let's get in a little, little debate on it or whatever. Give me your opinions. I'm all for it. I love movies. Love to talk about them. So let's keep it going. Later, guys.